Hi everyone, it's Paula here at Scrap Effects and Moxie Mojo. Just wanting to do a quick tutorial on a suggestion that I got from a friend of mine in the Susan Taylor Brown Poppiness Design Team, Tuesday Moriarty. So I would ask the question um, how did everyone store their embellishments? And Tuesday added some pictures onto the post and one of them was her display of how she stored her laces and ribbons. And I thought that was a really cool idea. And the best part is it's using recycled toilet rolls. Now, as you can see, our family tends to go through one or two. So I've been able to collect up a few. So I just wanted you to wanted to thought I might as well video as I went through and processed the toilet rolls and recycled them into something that I can use for my lace storage. So I've already done the first batch and this is the second batch because I've used up all that I've done. So I thought well, we'll get started and you can see what I do. Um, I will speed up little bits of it because there is some drying time and let's be honest no one wants to sit around and watch that. So we will get started. First thing I'm going to do is spritz all of the toilet rolls and flatten them. So I, I, other than that, oops, I've done nothing in particular to them at all other than make sure that they've got no um, paper on them like leftover toilet paper and all I'm doing is just wetting them with my distress spray bottle and flattening them and then I'm using just a bone folder to run down each side um, to give them a good crease as it helps them stay flat so really is just that simple make sure the entire tube is wet um, flatten it down with your hand and then run the bone folder along the side now you can use a bone folder you can use a pair of scissors you can use whatever you like just anything that will give it a firm edge and will help it to hold that shape. Now I'm just going to try a, a larger bone folder, press that down, you're just working out your muscles here a wee bit, and then what I've done is just set these aside on my craft mat to dry um, overnight. So I've currently got the rest of them stacked underneath just some wet wipes to um, hold them flat and squash them down. I've got these two which I have mostly dried with the heat gun, though they had dried a fair bit just while I was wetting down all the other um, toilet rolls. So now this is the bit that I've differed from what Tuesday did. She basically left her toilet rolls whole and wrapped the, the lace around them. But I know from my experience that no matter how tight you wrap lace or ribbon around something like this, they always have a tendency to slip off. So I have actually cut the centre of each side out. So I've made myself a template. So I didn't want it this long, um, but that gives me a chance to sit, to cut exactly where I want. And all I do is draw a rectangle on each side, just using the template, lining up the sides with the the side of the toilet roll with my lines to give me the depth I want. And I've worked out that this is plenty deep enough for what I want. And then, actually not those scissors, using my Tim Holtz ones, which are just that fraction 
thicker. Now we'll cut through more. I just cut this out. So turning it basically from a rectangle into an eye. The letter eye that is, not an eye eye. As in on your head, your face. It doesn't need to be exact. All it is is to make sure that there's a little wee barrier on either end to stop your lace or ribbon or whatever it is you've got that you're storing on these um, falling off the end. Now what I did find is that as the toilet roll dries it gets quite firm whereas these ones because they're still not 100% dry they are just a smidgen um, sort of flexible or floppy still um, once they are completely dry they will become quite firm as well and that just makes it that much easier for um, storing them so this is the kind of thing that you can do while you are watching TV kind of that boring mindless work but without the need to concentrate like you do when you're doing fussy cutting just be careful if you're cutting out a whole lot at once that you don't end up with blisters on your hands so I'm just going to do those two for now so as soon as they're cut out you're ready to put some lace on so let's go and organize that now now that we've trimmed out the edges all we can do or what we do next is put the lace on now for this particular lace um, because it is fluted on one edge and not the other um, you just need to be careful when it comes to um, how you put it on and by that I mean that I'm lining up the top edge the straight edge and just letting the flutes sit where they lie and then I'm just going round and round this lining them up and you can be as tidy or not as you like to be perfectly honest it's entirely up to you um, flipping circling the lace however it suits you to put the lace on um, go for it so just wrapping it round and then when you get to the top just go back down again And I do, when I do this, I just tuck that leading end underneath the first row so I don't stick it down because quite often you find that um, some tapes leave a residual stickiness on the item. And then all you need to do is seal that closed so let me just grab a pin, which I forgot to do beforehand. So now that we've done these two, I will show you my lace. Now this is something that, that I made, um, excuse me, out of um, some cardboard that was around a Christmas present this year. So all I've done is and it just fitted perfectly. I made it to store tags in and then ended up putting my tags in something else. And these toilet rolls were just the perfect length to fit in. So I've kind of colour coordinated it going through from my whites and my creams 
browns and then going into the colours, pinks, um, other colours and finishing with the blacks. And so now I can easily find um, the ribbons that I have, the laces that I have and pick out what it is that I want to use in a journal. So now let's just pull these brownie ones out and so I can see now that I've got like this fluted one in the light tan, I've got it in a cream um, it's the only two like that that I have this particular lace I've got in a white, I've got in a cream but it's kind of in a, I oh know it's a slightly different lace but it certainly makes it a lot easier to see the laces and ribbons that you do have um, and maybe beads as well so that you can easily use them instead of them just sitting in boxes not being used and that's kind of a cream that's going into my white so I'm going to put that one in there and this just kind of at the moment just sits on a shelf so I can see it as it stands um, looks like I'm going to need to make another one shortly as well because I know I do have a lot more laces and trims to do this and put them into a storage from. so that's just just to let you know, see it's about I need to decorate it but that is two and a quarter high and that's about three and three quarters wide it's at 16 inches long so idea there for storing your ribbons and your laces um, you don't need to have a flash box like this you can use a shoe box or anything else but certainly this idea um, hasn't cost me anything because I'm, all I'm doing is recycling the inner tubes out of the toilet rolls so would love to see how everyone else has been storing their laces so be sure to leave a link in the comments if you've got a brilliant idea on how you store yours I can go and check it out happy crafting and we'll chat to you later